Hello everyone, this is Cliff. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Dark Souls 2. Now, what I want to do first is show you some items. We've made a few changes since the last uh, episode. My standard armor, which has always been this knight armor, is now going to be changed to this ruin armor. Uh, it's a little bit better defense. Uh, the elemental and bleed and poison da uh, defense is not as good. But it is a little bit lighter, which helps as well. Uh, we're also, we've fully upgraded the Magic Mace and our Lightning Murakumo. Uh, this Sacred Chime Hammer is the boss soul of Belstat uh, weapon. Uh, we won't be using it because it does have a pretty high faith uh, requirement, which we probably won't ever get. So, I am human, as you can kind of see. Um... And I've got kind of my boss fighting set on. What we're going to try to do is I'm actually going to head towards the Drain Lake Castle. And I have the King's Ring equipped, so we're, we're good on that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to head this way. And I'm actually going to try to take on the Throne Defender and the Throne Watcher at this point. Um, now, I have soloed all of the bosses up until this point. I will not solo this boss. Uh, it's just a lot easier. There are two NPC summons. It's a lot easier to use them as, as if nothing else, distractions. Uh, because two bosses chipping away at your health uh, doesn't do doesn't do you any good. Uh, you can do this if you if you heavy up, uh, get you a great shield and some stamina um, items. You can actually do this. It's it's not too bad. It's kind of a nickel and dime fight. Uh, very much in the vein, I guess, of a of a veil stat where you just want to try to hit once when you know you've got an opening. Uh, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna head up here, and you should see two summon signs right here. And we're going to summon the head of Vingal, and we're going to summon Banehart. Alright, so we got one, and we've got two. Now what I'm going to do is now I'm going to take off this King Ring and probably just use my Ring of Blades. And now that they're with me, I'm going to trans. Uh, I'm going to enter the mist. And you got to be careful because it does take them a while to enter. And as you can see, I tried to do it solo, and I just, it, it just was too... Oh boy, they're screwed. And, and that's one of the problems you can have. If, if they don't pull off and attack you, they can really go after your guys and can do some damage. Now what I'm going to try to do is just even out damage as much as possible. Ow, he hit me with that. Loopy ass attack. I'm gonna drink because I am fairly fairly well positioned. He takes a couple of swings. I'm gonna swipe and that's what you have to worry about. That's why you want a couple of other people in here because they can kind of distract these guys. Please distract these guys. <laughs> Okay. Don't make a liar out of me. So, uh, we've kind of gone all in on him. I'm not, I'm going to step away and see if I can get her. Because like I say, you want to kind of kill them real close to each other because they do, they will revive the other. And we're not going to do that. They're going to wail on that dude. So I'm going to two-hand this. Oh, ho, ho, we got very lucky on that one. Woo. So yeah, you get two souls, and you get a boatload of spendable souls. Uh, now this will come in, uh, like I say, this is the last area of the game. Um, and if you had a certain item at this point, you would actually have to fight two, uh, 
two boss fights, and that's just not cool. Um, and and again, I tried soloing these guys a couple of times, and man, it's just it's just such a pain in the ass. It's and it's not necessarily the attacks; it's the fact that one of them is very mobile. It's kind of like a Ornstein and Smoke type fight if you play Dark Souls One, where one of them's a lot more mobile uh, than the other. And so they can get your camera kind of real screwed up. Sometimes you have to unlock and try to try to kind of manually aim your blocks, which isn't isn't necessarily great. This game isn't really great at that. So you know, it, it, it's a lot more trouble than than frankly it's worth. It's it's easier just to spend a human effigy and uh, have some help. Um. But as you can see, you don't have a lot of time after you kill one of them uh, to get that other one taken care of. Uh, so I, we, we kind of got lucky. That, that fight probably should have been uh, extended a little bit. But uh, we'll take it. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run back to uh, the far fire. And I'll trade these uh, souls out for uh, weapons and a uh, shield. And what we'll do is, after that, I'll come back and head through kind of the uh, story proper. So, uh, a short video, but uh, kind of a focused video on just uh, killing these two guys. Uh, next time, uh, we'll be uh, going through another King Gate uh, from the Shaded Woods, and we'll run through that area. Uh, until next time, this has been Cliff. I hope everybody takes care. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.